Hey everybody, welcome back to Life in the Heim House, part three of our Thanksgiving snacks and treats. Or is it treats and snacks? It's just Thanksgiving treats. Yeah, whatever it is. Snacks or treats. It's part three. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome back to Life in the Heim House. Jay here with... Brea. And uh, it's part three of our Thanksgiving treats and snacks. And uh, we're going to make today, do you know what we're gonna make today? You're going to make turkey cookie pops. Turkey cookie pops. So let's go through our ingredients so you can see what it is that you need to get and then we'll show you what to do. You ready? Yeah. All right, hit the ingredients. So you will need these popsicle stick things, candy corn, Oreos, Candy eyeballs, Reese's Pieces, and red icing. Yep, and again, for this activity uh, or snack, you're gonna need some melted chocolate. And we have chosen brown because we're making turkeys. So, are we ready to go? Yes. All right, a couple things to bear in mind. Kids, the chocolate's gonna be hot, so make sure you have mom or dad help you. And mom and dad, don't forget to put out some parchment paper or some wax paper. Uh, that's gonna help you keep your area nice and clean uh, when you're playing with the chocolate. I would also recommend that you maybe do this on a cookie sheet as you might wanna put these in the refrigerator to help them cool and harden faster. All right, with that said, you ready? Yeah. Let's make some turkey cookie pops. All right, first off, grab your Oreo cookie. Now, I'm gonna suggest that we put the popsicle stick inside first. That's so, a lot easier to scoop. We are using double stuffed chocolate, or <laughs> we are using double stuffed Oreo cookies because it makes it a little easier for you to stuff things in there. And you wanna make sure you have a good grip because if you push it in, it will pop off. So, uh, whether or not you go all the way through is up to you, but basically that's what you wanna do. All right, we ready? Yeah, it should be melted. So, melting chocolate is ready to go. And you can either dip this in, or you can drizzle on it. I think we're gonna to choose to dip it in. Yeah, it'll be a lot easier. All right, so we'll get the spoons out of the way. I'll let you go first. Go ahead, B. Be careful, or your cookie will come apart. Rescue it, quick! I don't know how to. Use the spoons, pull it out. All right, let's try it this way. If you take your spoon, you put the cookie over the the chocolate yeah, then and then it's... just pour it on the pressure of the chocolate will not make the cookie fall apart this way swirl it around get a nice cover it's not fair. you can do the front and back or just the front i'm going to go front and back because who doesn't like chocolate on both sides yeah and you have to stick candy corn on so yep and go ahead and let it like really get on there because you can let it drain off a little bit. So drain, 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 drain. I'm going to let it drain. And while it's draining, you can get, jump in there and... Or squeeze that one because... And all I'm it's doing now is just it. keeping the chocolate moving so that as it drips, it kind of evens itself out. All right, good job, Bray. That looks amazing. That you really got to like get a full scoop. Yeah, you want to really get it on there. Smother it. No, it's falling. Now, as Brea plays in the chocolate, you do have the hey. option of putting these on the wax paper and then throwing them into your fridge and letting them cool, and then decorating them after they've cooled down. But we're doing a video, and we're in a little bit of a yeah, hurry. Yeah, but you have to put these on before they cool down, or they won't stick. Well, no, because you can just have more chocolate to it, and they'll stick to that new chocolate. No. All right. You can do it both ways. All right, so let's go ahead. And once again, take your candy corn and oh. you go into the back of it, you're going inside of it. Inside of it. Inside. Nope, not inside of it. Yeah. I'm going to the back of it. Oh boy. Right. And on the last episode, Bray did a great job making the feathers look really good. And I did not do such a good job making... Did your cookie break again? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh. I'm just not having a good day. Anyhow, I'm going to do a better job of making more leaves, or feathers. Leaves? When do turkeys have leaves? They have feathers. So. All right. It is tricky because the chocolate is still quite, quite messy. I don't know what that is, but we're going to take that off. Hmm. Um, 
My feathers are kind of sliding down. Yeah. And they're not looking like feathers. All right, as Brea finishes up her chocolate, I'm going to go ahead and take the Reese's Pieces, and I'm going to cut them in half. So, kids, here's another opportunity. We want to make sure that you have mom and dad help you with this. Do not do this or, by yourself. Or, if you're old like me, have parent, like, supervision. Parent supervision. So, take a nice sharp knife, take a couple of your Reese's Pieces, cut them in half, and it creates the perfect little beak. Look, I'm going to get out. It's going to look so turkey. Pretty. So, I cut Not really. two for Brea, ah. and one for me. Why two? All right. We gotta do the eyes first, or we won't know where to put the actual. So, as Brea moves now to put the eyes on, I'm actually gonna do something a little different. She's putting her eyes right onto the chocolate. I'm actually gonna put- It makes them look like they're bloodshot. I'm actually gonna put a couple of red drops That will become the the backing. It's gonna run. It is gonna totally run. And then I'm gonna do the the waddle. Gobble. Waddle. Gobble. Alright. With that done, I'm gonna add my two oh, no. eyes. Oh, two no. your eyes oh, on no. there? Yeah. Looking good. No, I'm gonna do the gobble. All right, so after taking a few minutes for the chocolate to harden up and cool down, um, this may come out as one of our first fails. Although yours looks really cute. Mine's falling, though. Mine looks like you got run over by a car. <laughs> but when it's all said and done, they're going to look something like this. Put yours up front. So they can see. Look, Bray did a much better job. But hey, they're still gonna taste. Yeah, just but as I'm good. having difficulties with my Oreo. It will not stay yeah. on mine. But like, hello. I'm not doing a voice. Oh, so not fun. All right, that's gonna do it, guys. Uh, have fun with these. Couple things that we learned is uh, let the chocolate dry around the cookie. A lot. Before you decorate it, you can always add a little bit of chocolate to make the feather stick and the eye stick. Also, Bray chose to put her candy corn in the, the cookie i chose to have mine attached to the back so you can do it either way yeah but then you can't like see the feather well that's because, because i the didn't chocolate, like runs off right i didn't let mine dry long enough and my feathers kind of fell apart so let it dry first let it dry but be patient they're still gonna taste good so guys, as you do this, have fun with it. Experiment a little lot bit. It's kind of fun to see and kind of what comes below, out. comment down below like how it went for you if you done True this story. Or did this or going to do this. Absolutely. So guys, make sure you visit the blog at Life in the Haim House. Uh, we'll put all the ingredients and steps and uh, pictures and all the good stuff. Even the things that we messed up on so that you don't make the same mistakes that we did. So go over there. Click on the link and have fun with that. And that's where you can comment because you can't comment here on the blog. But uh, we're so glad that you were watching. You're so glad that you were here with us. We hope that as you get ready for Thanksgiving, uh, you'll be looking forward to spending some time with the family and enjoying not just good food, but a lot of fun family. together. So make a few of these. You'll have a lot of fun doing it. Uh, guys, we would love for you to be a part of our family, and the way you can do that is by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Frey, tell them what to do. If you can't subscribe, ask your parents to subscribe for you. That's right. Our goal in doing Life in the High House is to provide family-focused, family-friendly content and uh, adventures so that you can sit and enjoy what we're doing and hopefully be inspired to do some of the things that uh, we're doing over at your house. So subscribe, ring the bell, that way you'll know every time a new video is posted. Uh, we've got a lot more ideas and videos that we're gonna be working on as we get closer and closer to Christmas. So you definitely wanna make sure to ring the bell. Where else can they follow us? TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Yep, and you can find us on all of those platforms just by searching Life in the Hyam House. We'd love to have you follow us, and we'd love to connect with you in that way. And one more time, go to our website, uh, lifeinthehighamhouse.com. Not only do we have great blogs and pictures and fun and things that we're doing as a family, but you can also check out our new Merch. line of t-shirts. We have Thanksgiving shirts, and we have Christmas shirts. 
And we just have fun summer cool shirts. True story. So, and we got adult sizes as well as kid sizes. So check it out. Order some shirts. It will be great Christmas presents. All right, that's going to about do it for us with this series. Lots of fun. Lots of really great ideas uh, for Thanksgiving. I'm ready to eat these. You ready to eat these? Yeah. Yeah, they look funny, but they're still going to taste delicious. Should we say goodbye? Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Life in the Heim House. Bye. Bye. Drop another one. Yeah. I'm gonna deal with you, girly girl. <laughs> this is like the hardest one for me. Got chocolate everywhere. Hmm. We got chocolate everywhere. <laughs>